Hello and welcome back to another chilled out adventure today on Koh Samui. <gasps> wow! Oh my god! We're going to be exploring the south, the very bottom of the island. I didn't get to explore any of that area of the island and I've zoomed in on Google Maps and it looks quite interesting. Apparently there's nice resorts, private beaches and it's one of the most sought after postcodes apparently. And also it looks like there's not much going on other than a few resorts. So I think it might be quite an interesting adventure. I'm right now at Crystal Bay. We're on the way, we're going down that way. It takes about half an hour, 45 minutes from where I'm staying. Come with us as we go and explore the southernmost part of Koh Samui, just to see what it's like. <laughs> Welcome to the bottom of Koh Samui. Hello. I'm, I'm, I'm just driving around, babe. I don't want a boat trip. Just having a little look around, but thank you. So this is the, I would say the tippity tom, but it's more like the bottomy bot. <laughs> so let me show you what we're looking at here. This is the south coast of the island, very, very, very south. And um, in that direction there is, I think that's the pig island where you can go and feed. There's like pigs and things. It's a bit of an Instagram spot and it is open. So we might go there eventually. Um, and there's another large island here. And then in the distance is Nakonsi Tamarat and um, Kanom area, which is, um, I did actually go there, but uh, I didn't make a very good video there, unfortunately, because um, well, I was, that was the day that I decided not to work with brands. And as I was adventuring in, and enjoying those beautiful mountains and waterfalls, um, I ended up not making a good video because I was distracted. So apologies for that because it looks beautiful. Maybe we should go back there for redemption after things get back to normal. Anyway, I'm just trying to get to the very, 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 very tip of the island. This is almost there. Um, I've been told there's a nice cafe there. There's some beautiful resorts and it's the most luxurious of all of the postcodes on the island and uh, I think it might be stunning and so far so good we've got this little fishing village here and if you don't mind I'd like to take you on an exploration of a part of the island I haven't been to before we've got Dreamy she's got a new front brake because it snapped recently <laughs> and she's raring to go on an adventure bless her she's been stuck at home and not doing much and um, I'm very excited you know what, whilst we're here, let's find out what the information is. Let's see what this tour... Somebody cap? Yeah? I just want to know about this tour. Yes. What is the information? This island and that island over there? Yeah, this island, Kotan, we grow Kotan, yeah? We have the plate for snorkeling. Kotan? Yeah, and then when you're snorkeling already, we send you to the beach and the Komasun. Komasun? Yeah, Komasun. Oh, Komasun. Yeah, And that's the pig island? Yeah. And do they have pigs still? Uh, now we have a little small one. Just a little yeah, one? Yeah, a little one, maybe one or two, because now the old one. It's bacon? Yeah. No. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Joking! So how much is they the tour? Hmm? How much is the tour? Uh, normally we, we do for this side, uh, snuggling, and then we go to the beach uh -huh. here. Yeah, for, for the boat, uh, 1,500 baht. And how many people can fit in the boat? Uh, two. Two people? Yeah. Okay. How many you have? Um, I have I have many friends. <laughs> yeah, if you have more friends, if about five or six people, to 2,000 baht. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, same boat? Same boat. One of private. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not too bad. Are you getting a suntan? <laughs> Come on. Let's go to the, uh, the luxurious and most sought after sort uh, postcode. Bye bye. Bye bye. That was weird. So 
I'm, I'm just listening to Google Maps going to the coffee shop. I, I just used Google Maps and I zoomed in to this part of the island and there was a little coffee shop called Botanica or something like that. And just back there, there was a security guard and he stopped me and he said, you can't go this way, it's private property. <laughs> and I said, but I'm going to the, to the coffee shop. And he said, are you going to Bonica, Bonitica or whatever it's called? And I said, yeah. And he said, oh, that's uh, part of the uh, Conrad Five Star Hotel. So I said, okay, can I go? And he said, yes. And he made a call on his security phone and waved me through. <laughs> so that was weird. So I think it's part of the grounds of the Conrad, which must be a fancy resort here on this part of the island. I thought this area was residential but it must be private property. So let's find out what happens when we get to the top. <laughs> Poor Dreamy. Come on, love. Go to the lobby first. Ooh. They will open our information. I sit next to you? Yeah. This is fancy, isn't it? I'm ready. <laughs> I did not know the coffee shop was inside the hotel. I just saw it on Google. It's okay. You I can have everything you need. You can tell uh, in the lobby. Okay. Well, look at this. All the golf carts bombing around. Hello. <gasps> wow. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jesus! Thank you. Guys, look at the view. <gasps> Hello! Wow, we're so high up. Oh my god. There's Kanom. And then that's the marine park. Wow. Holy moly. Okay. Okay. Wow, all this for a coffee. <laughs> that was uh, a really lucky bit of timing. So when I obviously um, arrived at the uh, coffee shop inside the resort, I sat down, as you saw, and then uh, a woman came over and she said, um, hello, can I help you? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm just here. I thought, sorry, I was just trying to get to a coffee shop. I didn't realize it was part of the resort. It's okay if I can't go in. And she said, look, I actually, um, I recognize you. Me and my husband watch your videos all the time. So you're absolutely more than welcome to come around. In fact, the coffee shop is open to the public. Um, it's just, you know, not many people come by because it's a part of the resort. And I said, okay, that's very cool. Thank you. And so she took me uh, to the coffee shop and they actually, it's really interesting. They make their own kombucha there and they let me try it and uh, god it was so sour oh wow that's strong oh, sour yeah oh. sour <laughs> tastes like vinegar <laughs> and I had a cheeky little Americano and um, she even gave me some samples of handmade fresh uh, ginger beer and banana beer but alcohol free so I'll, I'll take that home and enjoy that so thank you and she was lovely and she showed me eat downstairs in the uh, coffee shop they have a mushroom garden they have a organic egg farm they have these cute little ducks moving around and uh, laying eggs and it's just really sweet and beautiful <laughs> <laughs> now I'm back with Dreamy and we're going to leave Conrad and uh, just keep exploring this part of the island and um, there's like little tracks and things so let's see if we can go off road <laughs> I'm feeling adventurous come on Dreamy There is a road up here. Wow. <laughs> so 
some uh, farmers just taking a nap. Must be Smoko. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here, but don't tell anyone. Oh, look at this. Wow. Oh, <gasps> wow. Look at this view, guys, coming over this hill. Oh, wow. As if this road is like not accessible, really. Oh, my goodness gracious me. That is a view. Oh my goodness. Oh, what is going on? This is extremely steep. So let me just, uh, I wonder if, oh gosh. I mean, the view is incredible, but I am a little bit worried right now. This is incredibly steep. I might stop at this shaded area, to be honest, and just breathe in the, the view and let Dreamy chill. <laughs> Okay, you're safe there. Good. Yeah, look, I mean, you can't see on camera, but it's like this. <laughs> and look at that. Wow. So it's completely exposed because of low tide. And I see a resort on the right hand side. I see some, maybe another resort in the middle. And um, holy moly. This area of Samui is incredible and then wow and then up on the mountain there in the super far distance again looks like there's an incredible property or some sort of resort on the hill there looking down over all of this area ah this is beautiful and the birds all flying around under this mango tree here got dreamy by my side you can have a lot of fun on Koh Samui this is great, but look, <laughs> look at the steepness. I think this is an ex uh, like a staff access road to link this resort with the uh, Conrad where I was just at. Amazing, absolutely amazing. But these dogs seem in quite good shape, bearing in mind they live at the end of an abandoned pier, bless them. Hello guys. I forgot to buy a little doggy treat from Seven today, so that's my bad. Oh, I can see the shrine behind me. I'll show you guys in a second. Let's just get to the end of this pier. Oh, there's a helipad here. I wonder if this is where the, uh, the super rich elite land their helipads, fly in from the mainland or Bangkok and then get picked up here and get shipped to the Conrad where I was just at or, or one of the other crazy resorts on this side of the island because uh, it's all super, super elite on this side. Just when you're driving along, you know, you see all the private houses and the residents, obviously the hotels on the cliff edges and stuff. It's, it's pretty out of this world. And these dogs have got a little kennel and everything. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? Are you okay? Oh, you're the friendly one. How are you? I should go get you some treats from Seven and come back, eh? Chicken with milk bites. Interesting. Okay. Who wants chicken with milky bites? Anyone? Anyone interested in some milky bites? Eh, there you go. Yeah. Been long. Let me just get it out for you. There you go. There's some. Here you go. Don't be scared. Just put them on the floor for you. You can share. Yeah. Hello, mate. Are you guys not hungry? <laughs> Just the friendly one. Gosh, she's hungry. Look at her, she's starving, bless her. She seems to be the dominant one too, huh? Even though she's so small. How come you get all the food? Cheeky little monkey. 
I tell you what, I got this as well. I didn't get it cooked because I think it's going to be better cold. But it's a uh, pork, cheese, and bacon burger. Look at that. Ho, 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 ho. You want it? You want it? You want it, don't you? There you go. <laughs> That'll keep you busy. And then you guys can have the uh, chicken with carrot sticks. There you go. Anyone else? These two boys are being very well behaved. Come on, it's delicious. There you go. Don't be shy, it's for you. Did you eat that burger already? You did, didn't you? You animal. She went over here to eat it. Did she actually eat the whole thing? She did. <laughs> she ate the burger in like 30 seconds. And now she's getting straight onto the carrot sticks. Breathe, lady. Breathe. <laughs> Don't forget to breathe. Wow. I can't believe how greedy she is. Unbelievable. Land for sale. This isn't the way, but I'm just being really nosy now. Part of this trip around to every province, you know, in the background, I'm trying to think, like, where would I live? And here's somebody's nice house. Um, Samui's up there. Samui's up there with one of the places where I would be like, yes, if you had a gun to my head and you gave me a million dollars and you said, buddy, build your dream home, but where would you build it? I think I'd build it on Samui. Because, you know, it's got mountains and it's got beaches and it's beautiful. And you've got the airport so you can nip back to Bangkok and elsewhere like that if you wanted. And the island's so big, and there's so many different areas to it, which I'm still discovering, that I really do think it's the perfect place to live. Okay, Google Maps, she's going crazy. I've got to say, I'm starting to get a little bit wound up by Google Maps. I need to change her voice. Turn right, turn left, turn right. Shush, Google. getting proper lost here. <laughs> the temple is a sacred place of worship. Please show your respect by dressing properly. Thank you for your kind cooperation. Okay. So it says no shorts and t-shirts. Bugger. I hope you enjoy these chilled out days where we just drive around together. And, um, you know, just explore different parts of the country, different parts of the island. Say hello to the local dogs. I know it's not groundbreaking content, but it's just, I just want to show you kind of um, what it's like when you just drive around Thailand. And um, sometimes it's incredibly epic and we find these amazing places and we just uh, have incredible memories together. And then other times it's like, okay, you can't go there because we're not wearing the right clothes and this is shut because of COVID and that's shut because of COVID or whatever. But the main thing is that we're free to drive around and Thailand's a beautiful country. I mean, look at this. And we've got Dreamy who's indicating for no reason. And I know that winds everybody up. I'm really sorry. <laughs> In 100 meters. And Google Maps, she needs to really Turn be quiet. Left. Be quiet, love. Right, right, shush. I'm doing my nutting. Okay. It's two o'clock in the afternoon and I have Muay Thai at four. And I'm an hour away from home. So you know what I might do? I might put on some Kings of Leon on the, on the uh, Spotify, drive back to my house slowly, enjoy the views, listen to some banging tunes, get ready for Muay Thai and enjoy a training session and a swim at sunset. Because it's Friday and Friday's Muay Thai day. Oh, 
elbow. Oh, elbow. elbow. Uh. Be nice in the comments, please. Uh. Oh, yeah, please. Uh. Form is rubbish. Uh. I know it's rubbish. Uh. Oh. But I'm trying to get better. Uh. One two. <laughs> Okay, Muay Thai finished and uh, a nice successful mini adventure on Sumui and uh, me and Flora and Note here we're just gonna have a little coconut shake and enjoy a sunset. If you've seen me on Instagram I've shared a few epic sunsets after Muay Thai training but today it's a bit cloudy and overcast but never mind. Jump in the sea, have a little swim, have a shake, have, maybe have a little bit of dinner and then go to bed. Um, just want to address that yes uh, we're not traveling around province by province at the moment because uh, if you saw I came to Samui to, to, because of lockdown and interprovincial travel restrictions and um, I'm just checking comments and I'm getting a few people saying I didn't subscribe for this <laughs> and I understand um, and I'll address it properly in the future I think I might create a mini series within a series because we're not going to every single province at the moment we're stuck on Samui happily stuck here Koh Panyang is open we'll go back there Koh Tao is open we'll go there and I'll explore more of the island okay but I'm not I can't travel at the moment physically impossible against the rules so just bear with me um, a little bit and then we'll get back on the next level adventures but next video we're going to be doing jet skiing we're going to go over and do a mad trip on jet skis well i'm still going to search out next level adventures don't worry i'll try my very best to keep you entertained to keep you informed about the island and what it's like down here and uh, i won't bang on about the restrictions and the covid stuff because i want to try and keep it positive anyway hope you enjoyed the video <laughs>